In today's video, we're going to walk through the steps to create and run your first Flutter application on macOS using Android Studio. If you want to use VS Code, check this video. The first thing that we need to do is to confirm that Flutter and Android Studio are installed correctly. So let's open our terminal and type Flutter Doctor. If everything is checked, like here, you are good to go. If not, you can watch this video to show you how you can install Flutter on your macOS. Now that we've confirmed our setup, let's move on to setting up Android Studio for Flutter development. Launch Android Studio, and then in the left panel, select Plugin. If you already have a project open, you won't see this panel, but you can go to the top left corner, Android Studio, Settings, then select Plugins in the left panel. Next, search for the Flutter plugin and click Install. Accept the third-party plugin privacy note. It will also tell you that the Flutter plugin requires Dart to be installed. So click Install. To start using our newly installed plugin, we need to restart the IDE. The Flutter plugin has been installed successfully. Now, we have this new button that we can use to create new Flutter projects. Let's click it. In here, make sure you select Flutter in the left panel. Then, you'll be asked to provide your Flutter SDK path. If you went through our tutorial on how to install Flutter on macOS, the SDK path should be there by default. But if not, you can find the path by opening your terminal and typing which Flutter. This command will give you the path to the Flutter SDK. Let's click Next. This will bring us to the screen where we can set the basic configurations for our new Flutter project like the name of the project, the location to save it, description, whether we want to use Kotlin for Android and Swift for iOS, and which platform this project will support. For the purposes of this tutorial, you can leave this as default and click Create. Android Studio will now set up your new Flutter project. When it's done, you'll see a simple Flutter counter app in the code editor. Now, let me show you how you can run your app on the different platforms that we selected earlier. Android, iOS, macOS, and web. Let's start with Android. And for this, we will need an Android emulator. So for that, we'll click on the device manager icon in the toolbar. If this list is empty, go watch this video to show you how you can create a virtual device for an Android emulator. If not, click on the green play button to launch your emulator. Now, our emulator is running. We can click this drop-down button to select it and click this green Run button to launch the app. Android Studio will now build your app, install, and run it on the emulator. Since this is the first time you are building your app, it will take some time, so be patient. As you can see, we now have the default counter app running on our emulator. We can even test the Flutter Auto Reload feature by coming here and changing the app theme color and save. The new color is applied almost instantly without us rebuilding the app. That was for Android. Now, let's do the same thing with an iOS simulator. Again, we will come here in this drop-down and click Open iOS Simulator. Now, our simulator is running. Let's click this drop-down again and select iPhone 14 Pro Max. Then, we'll click the green Run button to launch the app on this simulator. Again, since it is the first time launching it on the simulator, it might take some time. As expected, we have the same app running on the simulator. Now, to run our app on a web page, it is pretty straightforward. Just go to the drop-down, select Chrome Web as your target device, then click Run. This will build our app for the web and launch it in a Chrome window. Since we are using a Mac, we can also build the app to run on a macOS window. As you may guess it by now, we will again go to the drop-down, select macOS, and click the Run button. This will build our app for macOS and launch it in a new window. So there you have it. You've just created and run your first Flutter application on four different platforms. This is just the start of what you can do with Flutter. From here, you can start building more complex apps with beautiful UIs and smooth animations. Now, go watch this video that shows you how to run your first Flutter app on VS Code. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. And subscribe to our channel for more Flutter tutorials.